I'm back. Okay, so now let's go into the PS3 games. Sonic Unleashed HD. Love this game. I think it's. I think the Werehog is a ton of fun. I love the daytime stages. I really enjoyed the extra content and the DLC. I think. I, I think this as a package. This is one of one of my favorite Sonic games. Lego Indiana Jones, The Original Adventures. I haven't actually played this copy yet, but I've played this and the second game with Callum years back, and I remember remember enjoying them quite a bit. And, yeah. I just think they're the better versions. So. Batman Arkham Asylum. Haven't played this one yet, but I heard, I've heard really good things about it. Yeah, look... I've uh, written very recently actually I've uh, the games I'm saying I haven't played yet actually because I at like a week ago I just went on a crazy uh, sh Amazon sh spree where I bought like five games in a row <laughs> or six because Kingdom Hearts 2.8 is coming out soon Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions I don't think I enjoyed this one as much as Spider-Man 2 but Still really solid so far. I haven't finished it yet. Getting there. I'm like halfway through Act 2, I think. Um, but yeah, really fun game. Really love the uh, different uh, Spider-Man styles and stuff like that. Spider-Man Web of Shadows. I like this game. But it does have some things in it that I'm not too fond of. Like, it's just like, kill 200 of the, this specific enemy. And that's fine and all, but it, it just constantly ups it. Like, 200, then 300, then 400 and stuff. It, it just gets ridiculous. But other than that, fun game. I like the morality system. And, yeah. Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. Very good upgrade with the gameplay, but the first game did pretty much everything but everything else better. But it's still a fun game. Sonic Generations. I prefer colours, again, personally, but Generations is still really, really great. <laughs> yeah. Same boat with Shadow Hedgehog. Mm -mm. Nino Kuni. I haven't played this one, but I saw my uh I saw my brother play a little bit of the opening. Uh looks looks alright. Kingdom Hearts 2.5. I'll just go through the games on the back here. Okay, so Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Favorite favorite game in the series so far. Really, really enjoy it. Like the first game did exploration better, I'll say that, but I for my money, Kingdom Hearts 2 just does everything everything else so much better than every any other game in the series. Like the best combat best feeling combat. I really enjoy going through the worlds. There's so much content in Final Mix that it's nuts. And I kind of fear how long it's going to take for us to finish this game, me and uh, Jason. Because I want to do Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 by finishing Jiminy's journal. And seeing how long this can take just by going through the story, we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. I don't enjoy it as much as 2, but I still really enjoy it. I lo I really enjoyed the command deck system. I like the meld, the whole melding gimmick. I'm not a fan of the command board, but other than that, really fun game. Uh, already talked about Recoded. I haven't actually... Uh, oh, I was going to say, I thought, I thought the... Image on the box box actually showed 
recoded gameplay. But no, um, recoded. Haven't watched the haven't watched the uh, HD movie or whatever, or three five eight days over two. But yeah, I'll, I'll, it'll probably just be a blind watch when we when we get to those because I highly doubt we're gonna be playing through recoded or days. Okay, so one for one point five. Kinmark's final mix. Really great game. Uh, the exploration factor is awesome. The combat's great. It's fun just exploring the worlds and stuff. And yeah, Chain of Memories or Re Chain of Memories. I've I uh, grew grew to like it more. Um, it's definitely one of the weaker games. So I like it more than Days, but um. Yeah, it, it, it's harder to get into, but once you do get into it, it's, it can get really satisfying, in my opinion. Uh, Days, same thing as Recoded, at least for the HD cinematics, haven't seen it yet. And... PlayStation All-Stars. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the right game. PlayStation All-Stars, Battle Royale. There's not a lot to this game. It gets tiring way too quickly. Stars The Force Unleashed. Excellent. Really fun game. Little Big Planet. It, it, it's alright. Lego Indiana Jones 2 The Adventure Continues. Personally, I enjoyed this game more than the first game. I know that's like blasphemy because this game is considered uh, worse by a lot of people but I don't know I, I, I like I like this one I really love the level editor um, I love exploring the hub worlds and yeah I think it's a really fun game personally okay now because these games I don't have as many PS4 Xbox One games, I'm going to go through those first. So, Batman Arkham Asylum. <laughs> yeah, Batman Arkham Knight. Haven't played this one yet. I don't plan to for a while because I need to get to the other games. Yeah, okay. PS4, Xbox One, and 360 are in the same list because they're so small. But, yeah, just live with it, I guess. Um,. Halo 5, Guardians. I've enjoyed the, um, whatchamacallit, what's that game called, The Hammers? I forget what it's called, dang it. Um, but uh, that is like the only, f I've enjoyed that quite a lot. And um, the mode where you have to fight like a bunch of enemies and stuff, that's fun enough, if a little bit cheap, but, yeah, I, I just don't, in, I just don't like the fact that it's very coddish compared to the other Halos. Griff Ball, that's what I was talking about, that's the one with the hammers, that's what the mode is called. Doom, amazing single player campaign, like, I was surprised how much fun I had in that. My player is kind of mediocre, fun enough for a time, but uh, the snap map has you coming back, so for, it, it just keeps you coming back, because there's just endless amounts of content, and it, it easily makes up for the mediocre multiplayer. Halo Master Chief. Why is Spider-Man here? Oh my gosh. Why do I... I have... Oh, okay, never mind. I was going to say, it was, it's in the same pile as before. Okay. I just put all these games on top of uh, Olympic Winter Games 2. I'm not saying I have Soshi. I'm saying that this is the second copy of the same game. <sighs> I don't even know. I'm crazy. <laughs> Halo, Master Chief Collection. I... Really enjoy playing this game, just messing around in the multiplayer, even though I'm not the best at FPS games, I still have a decent amount of fun with this. 
Halo 2 so far is my favourite of the campaigns. And yeah, it's just been fun playing this game uh, for the live streams. So yeah. Spider-Man Edge of Time. I know this is not PS4 or Xbox, but bear, bear with me. Haven't played this one yet. This is another game that I bought re- Well, actually, no. I bought this quite a while ago. But I want to finish Shadow Dimensions first. But I'm really excited to play this one. Because the story really, really intrigues me. And I love the fact that both Spider-Man talk to each other constantly. So it feels like an interactive movie. Halo Reach. The short time I've played this, short amount of time I played with this game, really enjoyed it. Rare replay, Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tui, fantastic remake or re, or ports, whatever you want to call them, but they're the go-to way to play the Banjo games now, because there's everything that was that was bad in the originals, um, well. The main things they can't exactly f fix like well it, it's kind of hard to fix stuff like Canary Mario without like completely changing it but yeah the stuff like frame rate and the notes not saving in the first game they f they fixed that like you can't go wrong but as far as the other games go Bad Fur Day was pretty fun to play and the level design was kind of iffy sometimes, but yeah. Um, I need to play a lot of these though. Like, I haven't played a lot of these games yet. Titanfall 2. I played the beta. I had a decent amount of fun with it. Lego Star Wars The Force, Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. Pretty fun so far. But I've only done like one or two missions, so yeah. Star Wars Battlefront EA. I had a decent amount of fun with this game from what I played, but I can see see myself getting bored of it pretty quickly. Yeah, just fall. <laughs> you look. It looked like it was gonna fall, so I just went whatever. It's not even that big of a fall. Okay, Wii U games final list. Actually, no, I'm going to show you some digital stuff soon, but... Okay. Batman Arkham City, Armored Edition. Same with the others. Got, ain't going to play this one until much later. I'm starting to lose my voice. Super Mario 3D World. I like this one more than uh, 3D Land. I, I, I guess I, I'd say I like it more than Sunshine a little bit, but... Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great game, don't get me wrong, but I prefer just collecting stars and stuff, yeah. And I just prefer the level design in the other games. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, favourite game, favourite Donkey Kong game period. It's just, yeah. Hyrule Warriors, the game that destroyed my life for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's a good game, but oh man, Splatoon. Hoping that the sequel has more modes because that's the only thing that this game is lacking. Like it has tons of weapons, tons of outfit gear and stuff. The story mode was really good. Uh, had an excellent final boss. Um. But yeah, the only thing that I say is lacking is the amount of modes, because there's Turf War, uh, and then there's Tower Control, Splat, uh, not Splatfest, that's more of just a glor glorified Turf War, but, um, yeah, Tower Control, Rainmaker, and Splat Zones, which, it's a fine enough, like, number, um, how much was it, like, uh, blah. Uh, Turf War, Tower Control, Splat Zones, Rainmaker. I'm pretty sure that's all. Yeah, four. There's four modes, which is fine enough as it is, but I ex 
I, I expect a lot more come the Switch version. I mean, it's probably why they stopped supporting the Wii U game so quick. Arkham Origins. I can actually talk about this one. Um, it was a really, really fun experience. Yeah. I don't have a lot to say about it, but... I, if you want, like, an in-depth look at the game, look at... Look, in action, look at... Um, uh, Some Call Me Johnny's re review of it or something like that. But... Yeah, I really enjoyed this one, and it's actually my first Batman game because I wanted to play the game chrono games chronologically. Because, yeah, I'm like that. <laughs> Lucky City Undercover. Still haven't completed this game, as if you couldn't tell from live streams. Really enjoyed the single player campaign. It's quite lengthy actually, and it actually leaves me want wanting a sequel. Please. I don't. <laughs> it's basically confirmed that the that we're gonna get a Switch, Xbox One, PS4, um, rem remaster or whatever, which is fine enough. Like it's a great game. People get more people get to play this, but I want a sequel, man. Give me a sequel. <laughs> Smash Four, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Blah, blah, blah. Basically. The game I like to play when I'm saying when things are still warming up and saying being set up, and sometimes I just get lost in it. Like it's just so much fun. Mario Maker. I don't play this game nearly as much as I should, but from what I have played, really, really fun. If a little bit crazy sometimes, but hey, that's what you get when you. Make a game based on people's creation, people being able to make anything. Uh, Nintendo Land, really fun uh, party game. Um, I think it, I think it was a pretty fun launch title, personally. Zelda Twilight Princess H. <laughs> Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Massive, Im well, not a massive improvement. It, it, it fixed a few things, but Twilight Princess HD. I've grown to like this game more because back then I didn't really care for it that much. I still say it's one of the, it's the my least favorite 3D Zelda game, but I think I still think it, it was a ton of fun to play this. Sonic Lost World. I like this game, not as much as Colors or Generations, but. I still really like this game. I think it, I like the parkour system it has going on, and yeah, I think I think it's solid personally. New Super Mario Bros. U, almost said we. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this this is easily the best game in the new series. Um, still goes by the same generic themes, but what it does with the level design, I think is. Far, I think it's more a lot more fun than any of the other games did. Mario Kart 8. Best game in the Mario Kart series. Besides the crappy battle mode, this has basically all the best... Like, there's so much content in this game regard regardless of that. Because there's so many um, fun tracks to play. The the remade stages actually feel like their own stages, or actually feel like new stages in this game, and the music is just incredible. Wind Waker HD. Basically what I said before, I love this game even more than the original. It fixed basically all my problems from the original game, and it's just great. Xenoblade Chronicles X. I've heard really good things about this one, but I haven't played it yet. <laughs> Yoshi's Woolly World. Really fun game so far. Um, but for my money, only when, just when I play a few stages, I start to get tired because, um, what is it? The game just it. There, there are so many collectibles in this game, which is standard for a Yoshi game, I know, but just something about it. Like, when I finish a couple stages, I just seem to get worn out. I don't know. It's still a fun game, though. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Average beam up platformer kind of game. I enjoy it more than 06 and Shadow. And it doesn't have the uh the it doesn't have the whole like you have to collect so many items to move on like that like the 3DS game. But yeah. I it, 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 I will admit this is a bad game uh like at the end of the day, but I still had my decent fun of it. Decent fun with it. I still had decent fun with it. Rayman Legends. Massive improvement over Origins in my opinion. It did everything Origin or or it, yeah, oranges. Rayman oranges coming to you coming to you in stores. Next year, I don't freaking know. <laughs> um Rayman Legends. Excellent, excellent game. Just a, everything that Origins did, Legends does so much better, and there's so much more variety here. All Stars Racing Transformed, great uh, racing game. Definitely has a better single player. Definitely has more of a more meat to it in terms of single single player content compared to any uh, Mario Kart game in my, in my opinion. And yeah, I think it's. A really fun racing game. Epic Mickey 2. The Power of 2. Not as good as Epic Mickey 1. But. I enjoyed it enough. Pikmin 3. Excellent. Excellent game. This is amazing. Um, has a really. Really really fun. Uh, bingo battle. A multiplayer mode. Tons of mission. Mission. Uh modes that basically Pigment 2's challenge mode but so so much more refined so much more fun and so much more fun to play and replay but yeah I think this is easily the best game in the series we party you I mean it's okay it's okay <laughs> But yeah, with that, that is all of my uh, boxed games. So I will see you guys in a little bit. While I will show you my digital games on consoles. So I'll be back soon. <laughs>